After the break, the star of the hot new show Absentia, Stana Kadic. Her roles both in front of and behind the camera. is a three-time People's Choice Award winner who you will likely remember from her eight seasons on the beloved show, Castle. Yeah. Now, she's, now she's playing an FBI agent who, after going missing for six years, returns home to learn her husband has remarried and her son is being raised by another woman. <laughs> Flynn, why don't you show your mother your room? <sighs> Just the dishwasher. Please welcome the lovely and talented star of Absentia, Stana Kadic. That's really intense. So yes. tell us more about the story and tell us why you were drawn to it. Yeah, I, I loved the idea of playing a character who, uh, well, it's a psychological thriller, first off. Um, the story is based on uh, an FBI agent who disappears uh, six years prior to our story starting and is believed to be dead. And when she comes back, quote unquote, from the dead and is discovered again, we realize that she'd been tortured throughout that time and that her husband is remarried and that someone else was raising her toddler and that life has kind of gone on and everyone has found a level of comfort with her being gone. And, uh, and then the mystery starts from there and unrolls from there. Wow. wow. And for me, as, a, as an actor, it was interesting because, you know, traditionally women on television and in film who are the mother character or who are the girlfriend character don't have that much to do other than to worry. And mm. I wasn't really excited about playing worry for, you know, seasons. Uh, what was really interesting about this that I thought was unique is that She's a mom, but she's a badass. Mm. And so this was an opportunity to play and unfold all sorts of layers of womanhood that to me is re very reflective of people that I know in my life, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, her name is Ebeli, yes. and you tweeted that yes. Ebeli was inspired by the iconic movie character <laughs> Edward Scissorhands? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So how's that? <laughs> I mean, look at the hair. <laughs> yes. Uh, and also, there's this element of Edward Scissor. <laughs> oh, yes, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> perfect. And there's this element of fish out of water as well. You know, she comes back, and through those years, we discover that she'd been tortured. Again, it's a psychological thriller. The woman has gone through a lot in her time away. And she comes back and is so out of place in this world that is very comfortable with her not you're having doing been there. Edward Scissorhands. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not only the star of the show, you're also executive producer, yeah. which is bravo to that as well. Thank you. And, yep. and you said that experiencing uh, or doing this filming was experiencing nothing like you've ever experienced yeah. before. So what was it like to have to wear both hats during this intense filming period for all 10 episodes? What was really lovely was, so the project is on Showcase, but it's produced as well by Sony. And what was really lovely was that there was a group of people who opened up the opportunity to collaborate. And I had never experienced that kind of sort of engagement and that level of collaboration before because traditionally I've just been the actor, right? Mm -hmm. And so in this case, I was a part of the conversation of development. I was a part of the editing and the aftermath. And that was really exciting for me. And I think it behooves all of us, but especially women in this time especially, um, to take a seat at that table and to be a part of the direction that storytelling is taking. You played Kate Beckett on Castle for eight seasons. Yes. People loved your character yeah. so, so much. What do you miss most about Kate? Wow. Um, wow, that character had so much integrity. And what was really beautiful was that she was imperfect. Uh, but in spite of her imperfections, she tried her very best. And I think that was very relatable. But one of the biggest gifts that I got from that show, aside from learning so much and meeting so many wonderful people and collaborating with them, was the fans. Uh, we had an extraordinary fan base. And these were diehards. And I, I, 
I'm so grateful for them and so grateful for being on this journey with people like them. Mm. We've been talking a lot on our show about Time's Up and the initiative and the fight for pay quality and equality overall in yeah. the industry, but beyond in every industry. Yeah. So as a successful actor in Hollywood, what's your perspective on this? What needs to change? Well, I think, first of all, uh, it's commendable that people have come forward, men and women, right, uh, in this situation. And I think what's exciting about this stage in filmmaking and in television making is that we're starting to equal the playing field. And what's going to happen next is hopefully uh, more diverse stories will be out there that are more reflective of who's actually inhabiting our planet. Um, and so I think this is going to be a really exciting sort of new step and new phase in, in entertainment. It's going to be fun to look forward to as we watch all of this unfold. So, Sana, we found out, um, we, we found out that you speak five languages, okay. so bravo. And um, we thought we would have some fun, take advantage perhaps of your linguistic prowess oh, yeah, yeah. in a little game here on The Social that we like to call... Translate this, Sana. Okay. <laughs> We've all got some uh, lines in languages Great. that you speak, okay. and um, except for English, so yeah. nothing in English. We're going to say the line, oh boy, we are probably going to mangle the line, let's just be honest, yeah. in whatever language it is, and then you're going to see if you can, I don't know, try to translate okay. it. Okay? So Here we go. The point is we are not going to be great at pronouncing these. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay, my language <laughs> I'm like looking. is... I'm like, what is that? <laughs> my language is Serbian-Croatian. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Volio bi da nisi hrvajo. I would love that you aren't something. Uh, yeah, I wish you didn't snore. Nice. Was that even close? You're very good, actually. Wow, You're very good. good. <laughs> very good. Wow, that was yes. really well done. Yes. Uh, this one, okay, well, this one's in French. Okay. This one's not fair. I do speak French. Okay. Pourriez-vous parler plus lentement, s'il vous plaît? Can you please speak slower? Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I'm up next. Let me see. Okay, mine is in Italian. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Have voglia di andare al cinema domani sera. Mm, nice. Nice. Good job. Thank yeah. you. Um, <laughs> I, I would love to go to the uh, cinema tomorrow night. Holy smoky. Yeah. yeah. Do you fancy going to the cinema tomorrow night? Okay. I apologize in advance. This is Greek. <laughs> it's all Greek to me. Yeah. Signomi den Catalavino. Nice. Um, your blue eyes are stunning. I can't help but be compelled by them. <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> nice try. Oh, close. Uh, <laughs> let's try this again. It's, I'm sure it's me. Saignomi den Catalavia. How about you look? How about you look? Catalavia. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it is, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Yes. Something like that. You got it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. I don't understand either. <laughs> well, this was so much fun, Stana. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. We want to let you know, Absentia premieres this Sunday. Make sure you watch it. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>